piles are also known as emeroids, are swollen veins in the anal canal or in the anus. They can be either internal or external and can cause discomfort, bleeding and itching. Piles, also known as hemorrhoids, are swollen veins in the anal canal or around the anus and they can be either internal or external and can cause discomfort, bleeding and itching. Welcome guys. What's up guys? Welcome to our video. My name is Vincent and today we are doing something medical. When you see our stethoscope here, you know it is not as serious as medical. But I'm going to make it as simple as possible, that is, as it is our culture to make it as very simple as possible so that we get to understand each other. Kindly if you have not subscribed to Sioja Talks, it's high time you subscribe. Share also with your friends and colleagues so that we get to share the best. And also in the, in the other avenues you can share what you feel about our channel and how we are doing as a, as a channel. So guys welcome, Sioja Talks, Vincent is your guy here. Kindly subscribe and also keep watching guys. Hope you have watched our previous videos. I want to know the feedback on how we are doing about our latest videos. Uh, kindly don't hesitate to, to, to subscribe because that is the best way we can know how we are doing as a, as a channel. So guys, welcome. And today we want to talk about piles. Uh, piles uh, are also known as uh, uh, the hemorrhoids. Hemorrhoids are all, all the uh, piles which are the swollen veins in the anal canal or around the anus. They can be either be internal or external and they can cause discomfort, bleeding and uh, itching most of the time. So the most common uh, causes of bowels may include uh, straining during bowel movement, sitting for long periods, also chronic constipation, diarrhea, and also pregnancy, obesity, and other factors which can contribute to the same uh, include the aging, family history, if there is a family history of uh, having those piles, and also a dietary law of, uh, of, of fiber. So in what causes the uh, piles or the hemorrhoids, these are very common kind of conditions and uh, the main, uh, what you get most of the time causes such kind of uh, problems of piles is uh, most of the time is the straining during bowel movement. That's when one is defecating and also there is that straining in the bowel movement. Uh, because uh, pressure from the straining of uh, during the bowel movement or a straining during uh, defecation causes pressure on the veins in the anus and the rectum leading to development of uh, those, uh, those, those, uh, those piles. Another cause is the chronic constipation or diarrhea. Chronic constipation or diarrhea can cause uh, piles by putting stress on the veins in the, the anal canal. Sitting for, for a prolonged period of time also is another cause of, uh, of, uh, of piles, especially for those people who have long, uh, like long uh, office hours, which can cause uh, those uh, piles. Uh, so if uh, uh, one is sitting for a long time, especially uh, those, uh, most of the time is office, or the students sitting for a long time, it can also be a leading cause this uh, kind of, uh, of, uh, of 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 uh, of a condition called piles. So <clears throat> pregnancy can also be a predisposing factor for piles because that is now in the ladies because most of the time you get that uh, the uh, the hormonal changes increase the pressure on the veins of the pelvic area during pregnancy, so they increase the likelihood of uh, one developing uh, those uh, piles. Obesity is also another cause as I've mentioned. Being overweight or obese can put one pressure on the veins in the anal area making piles more likely uh, to develop. Age is also a factor because as we age the tissues in the body including the veins become weaker and less flexible increasing the risk of developing uh, the, the, that, that condition called uh, uh, the, the, the piles. 
So another cause can be low diet or, or low fiber diet because fiber uh, or roughage uh, increase the density of uh, what we check in and also make sure that whatever is cleared through the anal area becomes very easy. So a low fiber diet can lead to constipation uh, which in turn can cause pile by straining during uh, bowel movements. So it is important to note that the piles can be caused by other medical conditions also such as inflammatory bowel disease or anal cancer. If you are experiencing uh, symptoms of piles, it's important that uh, you speak to your healthcare professional to receive uh, a very accurate diagnosis because this can be caused through many other things and as we have indicated, it may also be a sign of anal cancer which is also very common. So how are the hemorrhoids treated? Treatment of the hemorrhoids or the piles depends on the severity of the condition and um, mild cases can be treated uh, on, on uh, lifestyle changes and over-the-counter medication while more severe may require medication, uh, medical procedures uh, or stronger medication and also surgery uh, at the same at the same time. So depending on the severity, that's why it's very important to check on your healthcare provider to make the right diagnosis and also help you find out what is happening and the best way of management, either through the medication or the lifestyle change, like in the cases of uh, obesity, and also for the sitting many hours to find a way to adjust it so that uh, one can get out of this uh, problem. So in matters uh, tre uh, treatment, we uh, we have uh, a way that this, these things are treated, like uh, number one is lifestyle change, eating high, uh, by, like eating high fiber diet, drinking plenty of water, avoiding straining uh, during bowel movement and exercising regularly can help alleviate the symptoms uh, of piles and prevent them for, from getting worse. So like, like lifestyle changes, sometimes it's difficult because uh, you get someone is earning a living through those training, uh, or maybe standing for a long time, uh, sitting for a long time, that's a form of uh, maybe earning also a living. And also like a, a student doesn't have a choice, sometimes those classes are very long. So, but uh, uh, the doctor advises on the lifestyle change depending on the diagnosis uh, of the patient. Also over-the-counter medication, so we have several counter uh, over-the-counter creams, ointments, and suppositories that can help to relieve the, the pain, itching, and swelling associated with the, the piles. Another very important uh, thing, which is uh, a form of management of these uh, piles, is what we call six baths, six baths by soaking an anal area in our warm water for 10 to 15 minutes uh, several times a day can help uh, to help reduce the uh, inflammation and also to relieve the, the discomfort. For six baths what, what happens you get to sit on like a warm water, uh, lukewarm water and also uh, with uh, sometimes it's with salt inside so that is what uh, one is put on uh, so that you get to manage uh, such kind of uh, a condition so that you improve comfort uh, so that you get away with the, you get to relieve the symptoms of inflammation at that point through the six baths. And also very important when these things don't work we go for surgery. In severe cases surgery may be necessary to remove the, 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 the piles. So uh, surgery may be done using a variety of techniques and including hemerodectomy, that is the most common which is done here in Africa. A surgeon does the hemerodectomy, that is now cutting off those uh, piles or those hemorrhoids so that you get the, to get the comfort. Uh, also, we have what we call the stapled uh, hemerodopexy or laser surgery, a uh, special kind of surgery which is somehow expensive, especially in the African setting. But in, in more advanced private hospitals, it's done here in Kenya, especially in Africa, the laser, laser surgery to, to deactivate or burn those, uh, those um, piles so that the patient gets, uh, gets out of pain and also gets out of uh, to get it to 
a better position. So it is important to speak with the healthcare professional to determine the cause of treatment for your individual needs. So always discuss with your doctors uh, if you have this problem or with your healthcare provider and also so that you get that uh, healthcare provider gets to determine the best way to manage it. Maybe you can also get uh, different medical opinions from uh, different doctors so that you compare uh, the best options which works uh, works for you because that is also in the matters also of uh, uh, advocacy for for the patient. So we we sometimes these uh, piles, especially uh, because of the behavior of uh, people seeking the healthcare, it leads to complications. Sometimes it is, it becomes with a lot of complications. And another one sign of this complication is number one is anemia or low blood levels. So prolonged bleeding from the piles because there is a lot of blood which is lost through those piles. So it can lead to anemia, condition which which are not enough uh, blood red, red blood cells in the body. So once even needs uh, transfusion at, at, at some point. So anemia becomes a complication with uh, profuse bleeding so that the blood levels go really down. Another thing is uh, about strangulated piles where you get that the, now the the, the piles get entangled where that they are trapped and outside uh, the anus and they lose their blood supply. This, this process is very painful of the strangulated piles. This, uh, these piles also, they require immediate medical attention and most of the time is either through hemerodoctomy or the laser surgery to work on them. Another complication is about the thrombosed uh, piles. If a blood clot, that's if a blood clot forms in the in the in the inside a pile, it can become very painful and it may require uh, treatment. So they become thrombos. That means clots form inside the piles. It's a very actually a very painful process, and uh, it can be seen very easily with your your healthcare provider. So it's important that uh, one gets attention immediately because uh, it becomes a very bad. Uh, or, the patient experiences a lot of pain and also a lot of uh, discomfort. So it becomes as a, a, a complication. Another complication, last but not least, is about the fistula. Fistula is an abnormal connection between the rectum or the anus and the skin around the, the anus. So piles can sometimes lead to development of a fistula because of the severity over the, over the same. So it is important to seek medical attention when you are experiencing such kind of uh, symptoms of uh, as i mentioned above so that your healthcare provider can provide an accurate uh, diagnosis and appropriate treatment for the complication so how can you prevent uh, piles there are several steps that you can take to prevent the development of uh, piles or the embryos or to reduce the likelihood of experiencing a recurrence so I want to give you some tips on how you can prevent uh, these uh, piles or the hemorrhoids. Number one, eat high fiber diet. It's very important that you get to eat a lot of uh, fiber. Uh, fiber like uh, here in Africa, we have the most common like cassava. We have uh, 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 sweet potatoes. They contain high fiber so that they help in the body. They prevent constipation. They work by preventing constipation and the, strain, and the straining during bowel movements or uh, when going to the toilet, it softens your stool, which can contribute to the level, the development of piles if you are constipated. Uh, another very important aspect is a very common health, care, health, health practice, which you should always uh, practice, like hydrating your body regularly, taking plenty of water can help keep your stool soft and prevent constipation. So water te taking water, we always say about 6 to 8 glasses in a day or more, especially when you are uh, in a predisposed, uh, predisposed to this, it is good to take more than those 6 to 8 glasses in a day so that you get to soften your stool so that you, you don't exacerbate the problem of, uh, of, those uh, of those piles. Another very important thing, exercise regularly, exercises can help improve dig digestion and, and the bowel movement, which can reduce the risk of developing uh, those uh, piles. 
So exercise is very important. Exercise is very important because it helps us in very many uh, aspects. So always make sure that you get to exercise so that you get your, your, your body strength and the tone of the body so that you don't predispose yourself to that level. Avoid straining uh, the bowel movements. Straining during bowel movements can put pressure on the veins in the anal area and increase the risk of developing uh, the, the, the piles. And this can only be done, or you can avoid straining if you have taken a lot of water, you've taken good dry fish so that uh, you soften your stool as you do the bowel movement or edification as you do the edification. Don't delay going to the bathroom, like when you have, a, you, you have an urge to go to the toilet, always uh, go and empty your, your, your bowels because it's very important so that you don't take too long to go to the, bath to the bathroom because constipation and straining during bowel movements can lead uh, to, to, to the cause of those uh, piles. Also, it's very important that you practice good uh, hygiene. Uh, keeping the anal area clean can help prevent infection and reduce the discomfort. Avoid using harsh or scented soaps and the gentle part uh, Dental part that uh, the area dry after washing, that you always dry your anal area. You don't use very strong soaps, so that uh, you also make sure that your anal area is very clean. And also, this includes also wiping your uh, anal area after after the bowel movement from front to the back, very well, and also to ensure that that place uh, is uh, very clean. So another prevention, like I mentioned from above. Avoid sitting for long hours. Sitting for long hours, especially on the toilet, can put pressure on the veins in the anal area and increase the risk of uh, developing uh, piles. So sitting, including sitting on the that seat on the toilet for a long time, is not a good practice, as uh, as it's evidenced. So manage your weight also. We talked about obesity. Manage your weight. Being overweight or obese can put extra pressure on the base in the anal area and increase the risk of developing uh, the, the, the piles. So when you follow the previsions I've, I've mentioned above, you can reduce the risk of you developing the piles or experiencing the recurrence uh, of, the, of, the, of, the, of the condition. So guys, in conclusion, piles or hemorrhoids are a common condition that can cause discomfort, itching and pain in the anal area. They can be caused by a variety of factors, including straining during bowel movement, chronic constipation or diarrhea, uh, sitting for prolonged period, pregnancy, obesity, age, family history or low, uh, the low fiber diet. So treatment for piles may involve lifestyle changes, over-the-counter medication, uh, medical procedures like surgery, and uh, that includes the laser surgery and also iberidoctomy. So well, we've talked about the complications, that, which include anemia, stagnated piles, thrombosed piles, piles infection, and the fistula. So most important about the prevention, we've talked about high fiber diet, staying hydrated, exercising uh, regularly, avoiding straining during bowel movement, not delaying going to the bathroom, and practicing good uh, uh, hygiene, and not sitting for long, prolonged periods, and managing also your weight, uh, that's avoiding obesity. So if you are exp experiencing symptoms of the piles or you have concerns about your condition, guys, it is important that you speak with your healthcare provider and uh, with a professional qualified so that you, you can get the accurate diagnosis and appropriate uh, 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 the treatment as by dictated by your condition. So we have those which may require lifestyle changes and also some medication, and we have those uh, conditions which may require, or you, the state of your condition, depending on, the, depending on the diagnosis, where you may require surgery, like we said about the meridoctomy, and also about the laser surgery. Guys, welcome to our channel, Sutra Talks is your channel, where we to get to talk about mat uh, matters which really affect us, matters complicated, but we put them in the simple language which we can understand, guys. Guys, welcome to our channel and also want to welcome you to our next video. Thank you very much and also peace.